If you have difficulty in emptying your bladder, you may need to use a catheter multiple times per day to empty your bladder. This is called intermittent self-catheterization. This video will show you how to use your intermittent catheter. Let's first understand your urinary system and where urine comes from. Your kidneys filter the blood in your body to produce urine. The urine travels from your kidneys through two tubes called ureters to your bladder. When your bladder is full and you need to urinate, you relax a muscle at the base of your bladder. This allows the urine to pass out of your body through another tube called the urethra. In some cases, an intermittent catheter may be needed to empty the bladder. If the bladder cannot be emptied completely through normal urination, it can be drained by inserting a thin tube up the urethra and into the bladder. The tube, called a catheter, is removed when drainage is complete. This is called intermittent self-catheterization. The Magic 3 intermittent catheter is used in this process. It is made of 100% silicone. It's soft and designed to be gentle on delicate urethral tissue. It has an ultra-soft outer layer designed to help maximize comfort. A firm middle layer for easier handling. And a pliable inner layer for easier navigation. The catheter is available in different diameters or French size and lengths. The catheter tip is tapered and has four comfort-sized drainage eyes for ease of movement over sensitive areas. Urine flows into the catheter tip through the four drainage eyes. Urine flows out of the catheter through the funnel-shaped outlet. The catheter's outer surface may or may not have a coating on it. The catheter is also available with an antibacterial coating. To use a Magic 3 uncoated intermittent catheter, you will need a catheter in its unopened package, a water-based lubricant and paper towels or a clean cloth, and materials to wash your hands and genital area. Step 1. Wash your hands with soap and water and dry them. Step 2 if using an uncoated catheter. Open the package to expose the entire length of the catheter. Lubricate the tip and shaft of the catheter with a water-based lubricant, being careful not to place the catheter on an unclean surface. Avoid touching the tip of the catheter to other surfaces or with your fingers to prevent contamination. Step 3. Get in a comfortable position and wash around the urethral opening, spreading the labia and wiping from front to back with an alcohol-free wet wipe or soap and water. Step 4. Wash your hands again with soap and water and dry them. You can insert an intermittent catheter from a number of different positions. Your healthcare provider will work with you to find the best position. Step 5. Spread your labia with the non-dominant hand. With your dominant hand, insert the catheter tip into the urethral opening. To help you find the urethral opening, a mirror may help you locate it, especially when you are first learning. Advance the catheter gently up into the bladder until urine flows. Advance another inch. Try to stay relaxed when inserting any catheter. If you feel resistance, just stop for a second, take a deep breath, and gently resume insertion. If you feel tense, the muscle in your bladder may tighten and make it difficult to insert or withdraw the catheter. Step 6. As soon as urine starts to flow, point the catheter toward the toilet or other collection device. If the catheter is too short to reach the toilet, an extension tubing or longer catheter can be used.
When urine stops flowing, slowly begin to withdraw the catheter. If urine starts to flow again while you're removing the catheter, stop until the last drops have drained. Step 7. Finish removing your catheter and dispose of it and its packaging into a waste basket. Do not flush the catheter down the toilet. Remember that a catheter should only be used one time. Finally, wash your hands again with soap and water. Please visit us at bardcare.com for more information and join our community. Summary of Indications and Warnings Intermittent catheters are intended for use by adult and pediatric male and female patients for draining urine from the bladder. Reuse of a single-use device may create a risk of patient or user infection. Compromise the device which may lead to device failure and or injury, illness, or death of the patient. Please consult product labels and inserts for more detailed safety information and instructions for use.